Let's get into the panel. Tonight's panel, we have former Deputy Prime Minister and now Nationals MP Barnaby Joyce joining me. He is uh, uh, at his property in New South Wales and we have in the Man Cave, Sky, Sky News contributor Carolyn Marcus. Great to see you face to face instead of me being on the other end of the line. Sam Crosby, near enough to have a really good argument with you tonight. Welcome, mate. Welcome <laughs> to the studio. Uh, can I go to you first, uh, as I touched on... Uh, this voice referendum, corporate virtue signalling from big corporates. What did you make of the Qantas unveiling today, Barnaby? Yeah, isn't it amazing what they're able to do with somebody else's money? Uh, did they pass a resolution at the annual general meeting that they're going to use shareholders' money to uh, basically indulge the, the views of the select group of people at the top of their corporate chain? Uh, you know, we, we the, the Australian taxpayer bailed out Qantas for billions of dollars during COVID. You just talk about COVID. And then uh, Mr Joyce, my namesake, uh, has got a bonus, I think it was 10 to $20 million or something massive. I, I suppose that's for negotiating with the government of how the taxpayers should pay the money. And now they've, uh, rather than using his own money, he's using his shareholders' money to uh, be the most enlightened, the most enlightened in the appropriate dinner parties in the centre of Sydney. Uh, well, all that does is annoy people. So... You think it's advertising? So does the no case. It, it antagonises us. Sam, do you reckon any big corporation that doesn't agree with The Voice would be brave enough to put their head up? I'm... I don't know. I don't know. You do know. Uh, look, I, I, I don't you know. You do know. No, I, I don't. The answer um, is no, they I, wouldn't. I, I imagine the answer is no, but I also imagine there's not terribly many... Um, in if, if you look through the patterns of who's supporting The Voice, you know, I hate to say it, which is the part I'm struggling with, and Barnaby has kind of got me on this, that, uh, yeah, in Sydney, in the boardrooms of Sydney, it is overwhelmingly popular. Now, that is... Barnaby's right, and that is not necessarily true amongst the rest of the, the community. I think the important thing for the yes side about today's announcement isn't the... The, the side of the planes and it's not the razzma, razzmatazz going on in the media. It's the conversations that are going to happen with the 25,000 Qantas workers. Uh, that's that's what I think the real value of getting these big corporates on when... So we're going to have flight attendants having welcome to country like we already do when we're on a Qantas flight. Are they going to be walking up and down the aisle? No, I'm not saying access, yes, no, I'm not, no, I'm yes. not saying access to the passengers. I'm saying in the internal uh, meetings of you know Qantas... Uh, uh, staff meetings, yeah. I imagine, I don't know this, I imagine that the HR departments will be rolling out information sessions because that's the big thing that the Yes campaign needs to explain to people what the, what so the, the referendum is all about. the staff? Well, uh, you know, you can call it indoctrination. I call it educating them. You know, it's I it's educating people about I what's actually on the, on the ballot. I guess it depends on where you sit in this well, whole Caroline, referendum. Caroline, Peter Dutton come out and say, I think two weeks ago, and I'll get you back in in a sec, Barnaby, where he said that he's being told privately by board members of big corporations that they don't agree with this, but they're not prepared to say it publicly. Oh, yeah, and I think that would be true on so many issues, Pricey, not just this, but, you know, people want to virtue signal, and that's plainly what it is that Qantas is doing. And, I mean, if you look at what happened to their share price today, the shareholders themselves are clearly saying no to this because their share price fell down yeah. by the end of the day. So it's not popular. I think most passengers that fly with Qantas would rather they just get their flights on time, stop cancelling flights and maybe put the money that they're spending on this towards bringing down the cost of fares, which is so expensive, but pricey, rather I mean, than this sort of empty virtue signal signalling that's going to make no difference to the vote. It's only going to annoy people. To the Peter, to the Peter Dutton point, I mean, some, yes. some business person sitting in in his office saying, oh, I fully support you, Peter, but, you know, I just can't say anything. I mean, come on. But consider Barnaby, the, consider I mean, the you, source. Yeah, 